After the Hyperions conquered Earth, Kate led the population of London underground until the Doctor arrived, at which point she appointed him the President of Earth. Comic. The Hyperion Empire. When Missy returned and froze all the planes on Earth, Clara came to Unit and Kate helped her contact Missy. TV. The Magician's Apprentice. Kate and Unit went to investigate a Zygon invasion that broke out after a splinter group decided a peace treaty with humans was unacceptable. She was determined to bomb the rebel Zygon settlement, but the doctor convinced her that this would only make the situation worse, threatening to radicalize every peaceful Zygon on the planet. Kate followed a lead to truth or consequences in New Mexico to try and find the root of the uprising. Here she encountered the one remaining inhabitant of the town, Police Sheriff C. Norlander who explained how the trouble started, the accidental revelation of a young Zygon in true form who, hadn't learnt to preserve his body print, had caused panic, distrust and violence within the human population. As the truth of what had really occurred began to dawn on Kate, she realized that Norlander was, in fact, a Zygon rebel agent. TV, the Zygon invasion, she was then attacked but managed to kill the Zygon, before taking its place to fool the high command. Kate was present in the Black Archive when the Twelfth Doctor forced her to become an ambassador for the human race in an attempt to negotiate a new peace treaty alongside the Zygon High Command leader Bonnie in which a standoff occurred involving the Osgood box. However, her memories of the box were soon erased. TV, the Zygon inversion. Along with the Osgoods, Kate watched Daniel Claremont's speech at Ravenscar School where the Prime Minister was revealed to be a sea devil who launched war on the world from Scotland. Though Kate quickly ordered a unit fleet against the Sea Devil warships, the Doctor ordered her to pull the ships back, knowing them to be no match for the Sea Devils. Comic. Clara Oswald and the School of Death, after Jenny's bowship had crashed into the Terence Dix Library at St. Luke's University, Kate issued a D notice as unit began cleaning up the wreckage. The craft was saturated in void energy however and all of unit wound up possessed by the will of a maddened Type 1 TARDIS, being driven to attack the doctor before the threat was handled. As the doctor led Bill and Nardal away, he left Kate to resume cleanup operations. Comic. The Lost Dimension. 